And to break this down further, we welcome Republican strategist and former chairman of the South Carolina Republican Party, Chad Connolly, and political strategist and former regional field director for President Barack Obama's campaign, Crystal Knight. Thank you both for being here. You know, both candidates setting their sights on key battleground states. We heard the reporting. Uh, forecasters now adding North Carolina to that list, a state assumed uh, Trump would win just one month ago. Chad, is the Trump campaign concerned? What's the temperature like in their camp? Hey, Kelly, good morning. I'm honored to be here and glad to be here. But listen, I don't think the campaign's concerned at all. I think this momentum by uh, Vice President Harris is a, a fake momentum. It's been produced by the media not being willing to ask her real questions. Think about it. She got nominated with zero votes and zero delegates and uh, a palace coup, if you will, to get rid of Biden. I think the excitement is really based on the fact that Democrats are fired up. They don't have to run behind Joe Biden, who's clearly mentally and physically unfit for office right now. The real question for me is, can somebody in the mainstream press actually ask Kamala Harris an unscripted question. Can we find out where she stands on anything? Is she going to stand behind her policies that she's been a part of for three and a half years? Or is she going to continue to lie to the American people that on day one, she's going to fix the problems that she's helped create for three and a half years? That's the real question. You know, and I think it would benefit both sides uh, to hear her stances more specifically and take some hard questions. Uh, thank you for that, Chad. You know, polling shows VP Harris leading Trump in at least four swing states, narrowing the gap in others. Uh, Crystal, how does Harris keep this momentum up? I think that's a big question at this hour as they hit the trail yet again. Yeah, I think she keeps the momentum up by actually going and visiting these respective states, sharing with voters through her rallies, through these small group um, meetings that her campaign will likely hold in each of the respective states about what are the issues that are important to those um, residents, to those citizens, to those voters. Um, we know that every state in this country is very different, um, but in order for people to feel that they are going to have belief in this campaign, in this candidate, she is going to have to go and touch these voters and identify with the issues that are salient in those respective states. I also think that she has to have a broader message for America. And that will come, you know, obviously at some point when she does a sit down conversation. But I think, you know, I want to just counter something that the other guests just stated, whereas, um, you know, he's asking that the media really be tough on questioning the vice president. But we haven't seen the media be tough on questioning the former president. President and Donald Trump. And so I would just pose that back to the same Republicans who are asking, where has the media been for Kamala Harris? Where has the media been with Donald Trump? Well, Chad, I'll let you respond to that in just a minute. And then I'd like to uh, touch on a, a bigger issue, the economy, that's going to be central to this campaign. Uh, what say you about Trump taking questions from the media? You know, that's laughable. I, you know, all due respect. I mean, Donald Trump did a two hour wide open interview with Elon Musk available for everybody. He did Elon 70 Musk minutes off the cuff just the other day, just wide open anything. Kamala Harris won't yeah, answer a question, she just won't answer anything. We don't know where she stands. There are no policies that have been put on her website. They came out of what an entire about a platform. All right. Well, let's, let's, let's talk specifically. I won't interrupt her, but. I want another shot at that. Well, you know, let, let's talk about a big issue that's on the minds of voters all across this country. Uh, the economy, of course, inflation, increasing costs. They remain the top issue for swing state voters. Uh, Chad, the former president had a strong economy. How does the Trump campaign convince voters he has the stronger economic policies this time around? Well, his policies worked. They worked for everybody. He didn't have to divide people up by groups to make them feel good. Those policies worked for the American people. And let's look at these numbers. Since Kamala Harris took office in January 2021, inflation is up 19.4%. Crystal mentioned salient issues. That's salient. When people can't go out and buy groceries and they know that their pocketbooks have been hurt, our spending, our debt's up $7.1 trillion in just three and a half years. 
years. Uh, not to mention, we've let in 88.1 million immigrants that we know about that are taking needed services from Americans. Taxpaying, hardworking, and needy Americans are paying the price for these illegal immigrants that are running around America all over the place. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.